This bittersweet victory represents a lot of hard work. Everyone knows it was close, it was real close. But I know the reasons the judges gave me the 9.999. First, though, I, I want to say we were very happy when the committee saw the challenges in such an event and made lunching an Olympic sport. People told us it was easy. We knew it wasn't easy. When you go to lunch with your ex-wife or your ex-husband, it's not easy. The luge is easy. If you want to know, lie down, all downhill. Yeah? Lunching with your ex, sit up, all uphill. And now the world knows lunching is a complicated, full-blown contact sport loaded with punishing ambiguity and emotional twists and turns that dwarf the grand slalom. What I brought to the Olympiad this year was my experience at so many lunches with my ex-wife, sure. But what I came with was a willingness to try some utterly new strategies that had never been done before. and I am deeply gratified that they paid off with this beautiful award. Yes. My ex-wife, Dana. Hmm. She is as formidable an opponent as has appeared in this event. She is tall, she looks good, and she knows how to dress. She is noted for creating differing effects with her hair, both offensive and defensive, and she has smart and effective table manners. I took the second lunch because of Dana's ravioli drop. And in lunch five, Dana had me hands down, but a napkin dropped. As she picked it up, she looked away. <gasps> Can't do that. Going into the final round yesterday, I was bracing myself for a real contest. I'd lost to her at lunch so many times before. I judged her speed and rose to meet her. In the standard American greeting, you touch your ex-spouse on the outside of the elbow or the upper arm. The mistake I'd made before was always using the overt opening immediately after we were seated. I mean, I would double my smile, lean forward, look at her, etc. I behave like hope itself, and there's only one answer to that kind of hope. So what I did next was crucial to my entire game plan. And you could say what you want, but it isn't easy. What I did was... I knew I was taking a point for that. Well, with the ball in my court that way, I just press with the volley. Instead of my meaningful, how have you been, which only means one thing. How have you been? I love you so much, Dawn. Do you love me even a little? <laughs> I went with thee. I, too, have a life. Oh, you know, I think I'm going to get the crisp garlic flattened chicken. Yeah. One of my friends has been working with garlic, and I have to say she's done some wonderful things. Immediately, Dana tried her knowing smile, which I had anticipated because she knows I don't have any friends. Everybody saw the smile, which is a killer smile and always good for half a point. But I think her timing was off, or I sensed it was, because it didn't phase me. I parried with... And the Peter Grigio. My wine club is halfway through the whites. <laughs> well, of course, wine club was a great big fat lie, but I did pronounce it with a certain gusto. Look, understand, behind the wine order, I was heartsick. But I had my game plan and I stayed with it. Can I take your order? Oh, the waiter, yes. Well, this was a huge moment for Dana. And I knew she could harvest points big time. What she did was clever. She looked up and gave the waiter her order. Whoa. If you get caught with your eyeballs on the breast gap, you might as well call for the check. You're finished. But what I did was keep my eyes up on the waiter in a move I patented called friendly attention. 
as if he was still speaking to me. Lovely, and for you, sir? Was it? Your order, sir. This is where I had flushed so many times before. If your face reddens, or one small line of sweat blooms on your hairline. Yes. You get the quadruple penalty point, from which it is hard to recover. In fact, no one ever has. Uh, the uh, crispy garlic, flattened chicken, and the pinot grigio. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. When we were in love, well, I mean, I remember some lunches. every meal of my life. Well, bath with a girl a long time ago is what we call history. A twin peninsulas floating before you. History. Her washing your hair with her feet. It's history. And if you want a chance in the Olympics, you leave history behind and you play to win. I dropped my smile from a half to a quarter and held her gaze. This was all neutral. I was close to penalty points, but still neutral. It all happened in 10 seconds. It's on tape, and I don't feel like commenting on the tear controversy. Fake tears, they said in the papers. Let me tell you what the judges already know. Tears a tear. I turned my hand open in a move they'll be imitating in the Olympics for years, and I felt the air on my naked palm. When Dana reached and touched my hand, it felt cool and dry and uh, perfect. And she recoiled immediately, of course, realizing her mistake. Nine point seven. But her hand. Ten. So. Uh, smooth. Well, it felt a lot like what it was. Gold. Pure gold. <laughs> 